In these videos, we are going to be talking about time complexity and big O notation. Specifically in this video, we're going to be talking about why you should care and what it is. Big O notation and time complexity are ways of discussing how long an algorithm is going to take so that you can streamline your software or your web app. Why you should care about this is pretty straightforward. Do you see yourself sitting on a web page that's loading and loading and loading? How long will you stay there before you go to another site? Some people might wait longer than others, but at the end of the day, if you're waiting on something to load or waiting for it to do what you expect it to do, it's not going to be a good product for the user. For now, let's talk specifically about time complexity as it relates to an algorithm. You've worked with algorithms in the bonfires. An algorithm could be one function or a set of functions that solves a problem. Instead of saying, well, that algorithm will take exactly 4.5 seconds, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It kind of depends on what that algorithm is doing. And big O notation is a way of discussing that without going into too much detail about what the algorithm is specifically doing. Another thing you should know about big O notation is it's the worst case scenario. Everything in big O notation is calculated for the most possible data or the most possible users so that you can kind of see, okay, this might not be a problem if they have one or two users on my site, but if I start to have thousands of users at a time, this is not going to scale well, meaning it's not going to work well for larger amounts of data. You might be thinking, well, what about Moore's Law? Can't we just build a faster computer that'll solve these algorithms faster in a couple of years and we won't really have to worry about it? Short answer is no. We're talking exponentially here, and no matter how much faster the computer is, the problem is going to get a lot more complicated faster than the computer is going to get faster. Big O notation comes in handy if you're building a tool or a site and you want it to be scalable for large amounts of traffic. Big O notation will start to point out some places in your code where that is going to slow down users once we get more users in the system. Another reason that you want to know about big O notation is it is a common interview topic. Even if your code runs great, being able to explain why your code runs great and why it is efficient can be really, really useful. At the end of the day, what I want you to take away from this is speed of your algorithms matters, and a way that we can measure that is big O notation.